My favorite investors are, of all time are those that have also built businesses. Warren Buffett is talked about as a as an investor, but he, he very much is a founder. He just happens to have acquired the business that he he ran. John Malone is a very close second in that same regard. He was you know, very much. It's confusing. Is is he an investor or you know is he a founder? I think that the line is gray enough that it doesn't really matter. Of course, I've mentioned Roger McNamee. I think one of the things that was so great about Roger is, again, being just so focused on product and living with the product. Anytime we'd consider an investment, we always start with the customer. So even if it's insurance, go and buy the insurance. If it's a car, go and test drive the car. If it's solar panels, go and apply for you know a solar panel installation at your house. Go through the process. Would you do it? Pull the trigger. And so I think whether or not you are the customer yourself, forcing yourself through the experience and you know deciding whether or not there's actually any incremental value to you or just starting to talk to you know the customers if you're having to deal with the product, say, for example, in, in energy where you know there's upstream and downstream players where I can never be a customer, <laughs> but you can at least- You're not going to process petroleum? <laughs> <laughs> you got it. You know, that was way back in the day when we did, I can't believe I'm bringing up the Palm investment again that, you know, didn't really turn into anything, but the customer was Sprint and Verizon and T-Mobile and AT&T. They were the ones that were buying the phones, not the end customers, because ultimately they were going to push whatever phones they needed to push. And so in those examples, we had to go and talk to the carriers themselves and say we're the customers in that case.